Alright everyone, let's talk damage. So you want to increase your damage range, but you don't want to spend all your money, spend all your mesos on increasing your damage range. Well here are some fine good ideas on how to increase your damage range. First off, check the cards. We actually made a video about them explaining them earlier, but we're gonna use them again because check the cards are awesome. Uh, this is my current deck and my current check the cards that are equipped. And uh, right now I'm gonna show you what my damage it is with these cards. This is my damage range with the character cards. I said character again, did I? I meant character. Sorry. So anyway, 27 to 29k. So now we're gonna take everything off and we're gonna check out the difference. So we're gonna log on back in. No, you can't see my pen. And it's 25, 27k. So that means there's a 2k damage range difference just for my character cards. That's awesome. Onwards with the next method. So next one is the Empress Blessing and Blessing of the Fairy. You get it when you train a Knight of Sickness or a Mihil to level 120. That way you can increase your magic and weapon attack and it's awesome, it's easy. Also you get the Inherited Will or the Blessing of the Alliance or Will of the Alliance, something like that. You, everybody gets a skill at level 75, you have to do a few quests in order to get them. Except for the Resistance Check, they have to do more quests and they can get it, but they can get them earlier. So suddenly we are in Aswan. Why are we in Aswan? Because we are leveling our honor. Or honor, or honor, or honor, honor, honor. Anyway, you level it and st stuff happens. You unlock your inner abilities. And with your inner abilities, you can unlock different... Um, it's kind of like potential, but then for your character, I guess. So, for example, right now, uh, my inner ability says that I have uh, increased strength and int. Strength for the win, right? Because I'm a mage and strength is awesome for a mage. So my int is increased by 36 and my strength by 16. But, you, for example, you can also get, let's say, damage, uh, ignore, defense, damage, ignore, what am I saying? Defense, ignore, increase damage on bosses, stuff like that. So it's awesome to level it. Also, make sure you have linked skills. Almost every new job that got released after the Legend, legend patch has linked skills. You can link them to your jacket. It's like a connection between the two of them. You can link them and awesome stuff happens. Trust me, it will. Also, if you are a Maple Star Europe, check out Supreme World. You have to be level 150 in order to actually get here. But if you are, you can train your character. And once you train your character here, you get his medal every, at level 10, 30, 70, 120, and 200, if I remember correctly. Or 60, 70, 60, 100, and 200. Not sure. Anyway, the medal increases your weapon and magic attack. And at level 200, the medal will increase your magic and weapon attack by 100 each. So it buffs itself every job. So now my check is on level 30, but he also has a 10 attack medal for my main. It's linked. I explained it in, we explained it in the Supreme World video earlier. If you can't remember it, then check it out again. Anyway, you can also get, I keep saying anyway though now, it's really annoying. I don't know. Anyway, haha, let's get uh, this uh, familiar card. Familiar cards are also an awesome way to uh, increase your damage because they will uh, buff you, they will give you a speed bonus, increase your stat, they will also, can also increase your drop rate, stuff like that. So, but they're only in GMS, I believe. Maybe C doesn't have them, right, guys? And maybe Europe doesn't have them for sure, even though we need them. For example, the big scar these big spider cards, they increase your drop rate, so they're highly wanted and you can sell them for a lot of money and blah 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 blah